Hey, Ronnie Dahl for Wheeling Australia. Welcome to top 10 items, camping items, forgotten, left behind, left at home. And I thought what best time, given the festive season is coming up, hence this silly hat that's cooking my head right now. Let's get this list out so you guys can be better prepared. Now this list has come about from all the times I've forgotten something and mainly from our tag alongs. Because we see a lot of people that bring a lot of stuff and they always leave something behind. So this is my top 10 list of stuff that's left behind, extended to a top 15 because I've got an extra five. Top 10 sounds better. Following this video, there is another video about how to prepare for a camping trip. That'll be in a couple of days time after this video. Link up there, link at the end of the video. Stay tuned. It is getting rather hot in this hat, so let's get serious and get stuck into it. In no particular order, we're gonna start with. The air pump. The electric air pump, this is mainly for inflating your mattresses or your inflatable pillows or whatnot. This is one of the most left behind items that you will see. Now, fancy getting to a campsite and there is no one else around, it's just you and your missus and you left the air pump behind and you have an air mattress. You're not gonna have a good time. So I would suggest storing this next to your air mattress and then you shouldn't forget it. The second one is a toothbrush. A lot of people leave their toothbrush behind. And a toothbrush is not something you can borrow. Well, you can borrow, but you don't wanna borrow someone else's toothbrush. That's pretty gross. So toothbrush and toothpaste. My solution to this is to have Instead of using your toothbrush at home, is to have something to put your toothbrush in. A toiletries bag. This one here is a bit flash. This one has everything in it, so you're not gonna forget anything. So I keep my deodorant, my shower um, gel, my shampoo. Um, there's even two toothbrushes in here too. That is where I keep it, and I'll keep this in my camping box, or in my case, I keep it in the vehicle because I go camping all the time. But for someone who doesn't go camping all the time, keep this in your camping storing box, and you're never gonna forget anything. Even put your soap in there, put everything in one bag, you won't forget it. Next on the list is bug spray. A very common thing left behind, especially on tagalongs, or people just don't seem to realize sometimes. I also recommend bringing two different types, two different brands, because some bugs seem to be less attracted to one more than the other, or one's more effective than the other on certain insects. So bring two different brands. The pillow. There is no substitute for a home pillow. Don't leave that behind. But I have two solutions for you. Solution one, get a specific camping pillow. You can get an inflatable one, which are more expensive. This one here is just a cheap Spinifex one. I've had this for a long time and I only just found it the other day again. So it's actually not a bad size for a pillow. It fits inside a sleeping bag too, hence the shape. But my other solution, this is my main solution that I used to do because I always forget my pillow. Not always, but a lot of time. Take a bag, happens to be a first aid kit, but I'll normally use my clothing bag. I'll then take the biggest jumper I have or a towel. You wrap it up like so. And now you actually have a pretty comfy pillow. Batteries. Double A. C batteries. D batteries. Triple A's. Oh, and there's a bucket load of double A's. Batteries, batteries, batteries. What more do I need to say? It's a common forgotten thing. You have head torches, you have fans, you have flashlights or torches. You, you've got so many things that rely on batteries when you're out in the bush, camping at the beach or whatever you're doing. Batteries, batteries, batteries. If you have kids, some of their toys have batteries as well. So don't forget your batteries. Next on the list is warm clothing. A lot of people leave their warm clothing behind. Big mistake, people. Next up, we have head torches. Head torch and torches, also known as flashlights, depending on where you are from. Oh, there you go. Perfect example why you need batteries. It's flat. 
People often forget to bring their head torches and their torches, and you can imagine what that would be like when you're trying to cook dinner, especially if you don't have lights around the vehicle. Even if you do have lights around the vehicle, if you want to go to the toilet in the middle of the night, you need a head torch or a torch. So don't forget them. Keep them in your car, keep them in your sleeping bag or something like that, then you won't forget them. Next on the list, sorry, not a cat. Toilet paper, another forgotten item. And look, you may think it's not too much of a problem when you're traveling combo because you borrow someone else's toilet paper, but you'll be surprised how many people forget to restock on their toilet paper or bring their toilet paper out. A lot of people. So when you end up with a, a little roll, it's not so good. And you want to borrow some from other people, well, they'll probably give you their little roll. So definitely remember your toilet paper. Hammers. So don't bring two hammers, but what I do suggest is ditch your mallet and bring a proper hammer. There's no substitute for metal on metal when you're trying to get through hard ground. The mallet just doesn't do the job. Even better, you can get a fancy copperhead hammer, but that's, you know, you're talking a bit of money there. Just a regular hammer. If you do have a hatchet though, don't worry about your hammer. You can use a hatchet as a hammer too. Next on the list is a bush hat. Do not leave that behind, do not leave it home. Cap, especially in Australia, Australia mate, will not cover the sun to its you know, full potential. So out here, 40 degrees, 35 degrees, we are camping. Why are you camping in that heat? Well, that's just what it's like here. Bring a bush hat. It'll save your noggin. That means head. Part of the bonus five, we have matches. We have a cigarette lighter, or a lighter, and here's a different type of lighter. So people often leave lighters at home. So they can't light their stove. Some stoves do have an auto igniter, but they do fail. Grease, fat, be knocked around, old camping gear. So a lighter is a must. Also it helps you light a fire, unless you wanna use flint and stuff. Some may ask, what is this device? This is an electronic lighter, relies on battery power. Now you can actually get these really cheap on eBay that are USB powered. I used to have one, I lost it. This is one I bought at a post office here in Perth, Australia. But it's quite bulky and quite expensive, so I prefer the cheaper ones, the USB rechargeables. Garbage bags. You'll be surprised how many people forget their garbage bags and have to borrow off someone else. I actually forgot garbage bags just the other day when I went camping and I had to call someone to ask them to bring some in. So, garbage bags, leave them in your car somewhere where you can't forget them. Next in the extra five. Now this isn't just a forgotten item. Some people don't even realize they need it until it's too late. It's duct tape and cable ties. Everything mentioned already that has been forgotten as a top forgotten thing, you could probably make out of duct tape and cable ties. The only thing you probably couldn't do is make toilet paper out of it. I don't know how this is gonna help you with the toilet paper department. Let's not even imagine that for a second. Duct tape, cable ties, this can fix a lot of things. Uh, it is a necessity for camping. So don't forget it, don't leave it at home. And if you don't have it, go and buy it. Sunscreen, a common thing left behind, especially by me, but by many. I would suggest keeping one in the vehicle, and if you have a camper trailer, keep one in there as well, and then you should never forget it again. One other thing in the extra five. Baby wipes, or wet wipes, also known as. You can also get camping wipes. Camping wipes are way more expensive than baby wipes, so just get baby wipes. They're so much more common and they, they do the same job. Just get the fragrance free ones. Um, a lot of people probably you know, don't even have this with them because they don't realize how good they are. These are some of the best things you can take camping. And even people who know how good they are, they often forget them. 
I'm one of those people that forgets the baby wipes because you worry about toilet paper, you worry about all these other things when you're packing your car. The wipes is generally one of those things that gets forgotten. So that's why it's in the extra five. Baby wipes, get some. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helps you out and prevents you from forgetting these specific items. Anything that you always or frequently forget, comment down below, tell us what that is. If you would like to see a video on how to prepare for a camping trip so you, know, you don't get caught out, there's so many things to get caught out about like wet tents, moldy tents, um, missing stuff. I have a whole prep video dedicated to that to help you guys so you don't end up out there camping or while you're packing, all this stuff's gone wrong. So this video will prepare you for that. And that will be down here when it's released. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe and patreon.com slash Ronnie Dahl. Cheers. See you later.